What's going on guys, the witch doctor. The darkness is here again, finally, with TCG. It brings tears to my eyes. I love this card game so much, people, you don't understand. But yeah, guys, uh, so before I start the review of this theme deck, uh, I'm gonna probably put an annotation on the screen when to skip to the actual review of the theme deck, because I got a few things to talk about. Uh, first thing is, why I do not upload TCG as much anymore. Uh, it is because it's kind of an expensive game to play. I only, I actually don't even play the card game in real life. Uh, on occasions I do, but uh, I really use it only to get the code cards when I buy packs and stuff. I could buy code cards separately, but at the same time, I, you know, I don't have as much money as I used to before. I actually have to pay for a lot more things. I'm helping out my family as much as I can. We're going through. A little bit of things, so I'm going to spare you the sap story and just say it like that. We're just going through some things, and at the moment, I can't provide that. Also, to answer your question, well, if you're having money trouble, why don't you try streaming? My thing with streaming is, guys, I don't want to stream if I'm not streaming with a capture card. Let me just put it that way. I don't want to stream, like, Pokemon Emerald and other stuff like that because it's... I want to do something where I'll be able to interact with you guys and stuff like that. And I'm, if I'm gonna stream, you know, I might as well go big. I'm not gonna, you know, stream those things and stuff like that. Unless that's something you guys would want, I could try it, but I'm not really into that. But that's all I really have to say. I'm just, you know, glad you guys listened. But yeah, that's just my main thing. I don't have. It's kind of an expensive game to get the code cards and stuff like that. Because at least when I bought the packs. Any rare cards that I got, I usually sold them off. That was my main thing. I would just sell my cards. So that that was that was basically it, really. But yeah, let's get into this theme deck review. This deck revolves around Talon Flame. I love Talon Flame. Talon Flame is probably one of the better six-gen Pokemon to camp to come out. But yeah, let's look at Talon Flame really quick. He has a stage two. That means he evolves from a Fletchling. Uh. Fletchinder, I think that's how you say his name. Well, I was never able to say this guy's name. Fletchinder. Chinder. <laughs> uh, nah. But yeah, um, then his final stage, of course, Talonflame. And right off the back, this is the problem with the deck. Is there already a problem? Yeah, there is. Talonflame is a stage 2 Pokemon. That means you have to evolve it twice in order to get to a Talonflame. You gotta go into Fletch Tinder, Tinder, <laughs> Fletch Tinder, I'm gonna call it that. And then into Town Flame. So that already presents itself as a problem, especially with all EX Pokemon running around nowadays and people being able to attack pretty fast. I will say though that Town Flame can attack pretty fast and can do some good amount of damage if you get the coin flips right. Now, Acrobatics for one fire energy can do 30 damage, but flip two coins. This attack does 30 damage more for each heads. That's really good. When you think about it, you have potential of doing 90 damage with just one energy. Now, for example, if you're fighting a Verizion or a Genesect, and I think, yeah, they're both weak to fire, so then you already just knocked out an EX with one energy doing 90 damage. It's times two super effective, so you go from 90 to 180, knocking out a Verizion or a Genesect. It's amazing. It's actually a really good card when it comes to just acrobatics. I mean, that's what really makes the card. I wouldn't say it's a really good card, but that's what makes it. Now, you do have another attack called Jet Shot. Shoot, Jet Shoot. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> But for two fire energies and one carless, you do 120 damage. That's actually not that bad of damage at all. It's actually really good. The downside to this, though, during your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attack is increased by 40 after applying weakness and resistance. Now, I have to say that's actually a really big downfall. I can only see myself using Jet Shoot when I'm looking for an easy knockout basically like an end game kind of thing so basically our main force of attacking will be acrobatics now of course it's based on coin flips and that's really risky so we have this new card called uh, trick coin 
basically what this card does I think this is what it does don't quote me on this because I haven't seen the card in action yet but we will be playing the game after this so that way I can show off the deck so then it says you can attach this is a Pokemon tool by the way you can attach it to one of your Pokemon once during your turn after you flip any coins for an attack of the Pokemon it attached to you may ignore all effects of those coin flips and begin flipping those coins again now basically say I'm guessing this is how it works if we flip two tails the first time it ignores it and we get to flip again giving us a better the best way I can t say this guys you still have a you have a good chance of doing at least 60 damage for just one energy which is not bad and you know it's still still pretty good attack so basically we have a chance to get all heads again you know see doing 90 which I have to admit I actually really like this talent flame um, I could probably see myself making an actual deck around it but I don't know as of yet but I kind of talked about talent flame a little too much Let's get into the other Pokemon you get in the deck you get a Chansey, which has Nap, which heals 30 damage from this Pokemon. Already has 100 HP. You have Lucky Punch, that does 100 for three colorless energies. If you don't have exactly seven cards in your hand, this attack does nothing. So that's just dumb. <laughs> and three retreat costs. This is why I don't like theme decks too much, guys. To be honest, this is the reason why you buy theme decks to get energy in real life. That's what you need. It comes with a lot of energy, and that's what you need it for. Just for that reason alone. Next we got a Wismer line and Screaming Fit both active Pokemon are now confused. That's an amazing attack. Oh yeah, so amazing. Sarcasm people. Loudred. Uh, pound for 200 does 30. Uh, energy press, which is actually not a bad attack. Uh, for three cards, energy does 30 damage. And then the attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Which is actually pretty decent. Just for three energy to do the attack, I don't know. Also, I forgot to mention the only thing I don't really like about this Talon Flame is it actually has a retreat cost. I believe the other Talon Flame does not have a retreat cost. So this one mm, kind of bugs me out, but I can see myself making a deck with this Talon Flame and the other one. So we'll see. I, I do plan to make a Talon Flame deck. Uh, let's see the other Pokemon we can look at. Uh, I have no idea why the Kira Blast is in here. It does nothing. I don't see the evolution line in here at all. Uh, we got a Sea Waddle. I uh, got a Swadloon, which doesn't do a whole lot. I'm just only showing you guys the cards so you can see. We got a Venonat and a Venomoth. Now let's look at Venomoth really quick. He's actually a pretty cool card. I actually kind of like it. Uh, Dizzying Wind. For one Grass Energy, whenever your opponent plays a trainer card from his or her hand during his or her next turn, your opponent flips a coin. If Tails, that card has no effect. Your opponent still discards that card. So basically, you can play like a Professor Juniper. They have to flip a coin. If they get Tails, it does nothing, which is actually a pretty good stalling card. I kind of like that. And then you can basically power this guy up pretty fast with one Grass Energy and like a double Carless Energy. To fill up these two slots right here for uh, uh, Noxious Scales, that's 50 damage, and your opponent's active Pokemon is now Confused and Poison, which is really good. So this is a really good stall card. I like this. I don't know if you'll see too much competitive play, but yeah, I don't know. Next we got a Yanma, and then we have a Yan Mega. Um, I actually like this Yan Mega because of this free retreat. It's actually really good, and it's a stage 1 with 110 HP. Now, another thing I don't like about stage 2 is that they only go to 130 HP. I really hate that. I mean, I wish that stage 2 Pokemon would actually get a lot more HP, at least to 150. I would be okay with that, because Mega Evolutions and EX Pokemon just trample stage 2 Pokemon at times, and it's really annoying. And that's why we don't really see too much variety in the TCG sometimes. Ooh, I had to yawn, but I, I held it back. <laughs> Alright, so last but not least, we got a Lit Leo line with the Pyroar. Uh, Pyra, Pyroar. <laughs> English is hard, people. It really is. Uh, 
Flare Command, which is actually a really good ability. I like it at least. Uh, once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard a fire energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon. This is like a Pokemon catcher for discarding a fire energy, and basically this helps us a lot if we have Talonflame out. And with Talonflame, we can say we already weakened something and we're close to knocking it out, but they decide to retreat out. And then we can use our Pyroar and discard our Fire Energy attached to a Pyroar and bring that Pokemon back in and get in the knockout. So this is all Pyroar is used for. This one at least is supposed to be on the bench. This Inferno Onrush is insane. Three Fire Energy and one Carless Energy to only do 110 damage. And then not only that, you do 30 damage to yourself. Need I say more? Need I say more? So let's get into the like the Pokemon tools and supporters. So we got one Evo Soda, which is actually a pretty good card. Search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon. This counts as an evolution. So uh, you, as you all know in the rules of TCG, you can't evolve first turn. But say if I have a little Fletch, oops, I took some cards out. Oh, my bad. A Fletchling out, and I want a Fletch Tinder, and I don't have it in my hand, and I have an Evo Soda, I can search my deck and evolve it like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, I still prefer Rare Candy, because that way you can get rid of this line. Less clunky. Uh, we get one Potion, which is 38 HP from one of our Pokemon. Two Professor's Letter, which I really like. This card is a really good card. Search your deck for up to two basic energies, reveal them, and put them into your hand, show for your deck afterwards. So if you don't have energy and you need to find some, you can play this and you'll find two of them. Not bad. And it can be in any combination as well. Uh, roller skates, flip a coin, if heads, draw three cards. Obviously if you flip tails, you don't get anything. Uh, one Ultra Ball, which is kind of weird. I think theme decks should at least have two Ultra Balls. I think some of them had two before. Um, basically this is like your searcher of the deck for finding Pokemon. Discard two cards from your hand. If you can't discard cards, you cannot play this card. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Show for your deck afterwards. So, Ultra Ball is actually a really good card. Uh, now to our supporters, which we have Pokemon Center Lady. Uh, heal 60 damage and remove all special conditions from one of your Pokemon. I don't like this card as a supporter at all. I really don't. I don't see myself having to use something like this. I really don't. So, that as a supporter, I don't know why. It's. I guess it will be a little too strong as a trainer card. I mean as a normal item card. Pokemon Fan Club. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon. Reveal them and put them into your hand. So up your deck afterwards. This is really good for searching out uh, your basic Pokemon. Say if you got a Pyro in your hand but no Lit Leo. And you got a Fletchinder in your hand but no Fletchling. Then you can search them out. Uh, probably the best supporter card in this deck is Professor Sycamore. Discard your hand and draw seven cards. Simple as that. Really good card. Uh, let's see, Shauna, uh, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. That's also pretty good. Oh yeah, I looked away for a second, but uh, yeah, this guy dropped three cards, simple supporter card. Oh man, I looked away at the screen, I was like, what was that noise over there? I don't know if you guys heard that, but I'm sorry. And of course, the Pokemon tool we got in the deck is Trick Coin. I yawned, but I held it back, kind of. And yes, when we got the deck with 10 Fire Energy and 8 Grass Energy. Uh, the Grass Pokemon in this deck aren't even all that good. You're really only using the deck for Talonflame. So, let us get into a game. I will cut it until we can find ourselves a game. Alright, and we got ourselves a game. Uh, obviously I'm not using a theme deck online, that would just be horrible. And it is taking forever to load my avatar. There it is. Why do I look like that? I don't remember putting a hat on. Whoa. Those sound effects, okay, so let's lead off our little fletchling. No, what the f- Oh. 
Okay. Thought I was gonna lead off with it, but uh, yeah. Let me turn this off. Sound effects. Oh, there you go. All right. So let us see what we doing. What are we doing right now? Hmm. Nap does nothing. Does not help us out at all. Summon a professor's letter. This turn, grab two fire energy. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, I get it. Attacks a fletchling this turn, and I'm probably just gonna ultra ball away these two grass energies to uh, get into a talon flame. There it is. All right, and end our turn. I can't commentate these little games. Okay, he just tackled that. That's fine with me. Go ahead and evolve you. You. All right, attach that to this guy so we can retreat later on. Actually, we could probably start attacking now. How much HP do you have? Oh, okay, yeah, we can do that. All right, retreat. Yes. Yes. Should have probably done that before, sorry guys. But uh, we can peck for 40 because it is super effective. Bop. And already taking our first prize of the game, not bad. And he brought in a pincer, now what? What? Oh, never mind. Evil Soda. Okay, you're evolving that thing to a Lily again. Alright, well, I'm trying to look at pincer, sir. What? Okay, okay. Um, yeah, Pincher can't do a lot to us, so we're gonna go ahead and evolve our Fletchling, Fletchtinder now. Bow, Talonflame, people, look at that guy. This is a book run right here, this is a Talonflame. I like that it was just fighting too, since fighting is actually, uh, one of the main types right now. In the deck, in the format right now, you know. Alright, one tails. The heads, alright. We're doing 120 since we got 60. Look at all that fire. Burn for your sins, boy. Oh, I like that animation. Wow. And we're also confused? I don't like this. Um. I don't, oh, that Pokemon gets confused. I thought we got confused for a second. I would've been pretty mad, I ain't gonna lie. So we finally got some draw power, jeez. Um, go ahead and play that Lit Leo down. Now, they don't, oh, we can end the game right now. For Jet Shoot for 240 damage. Oh my gosh, overkill. Die, destruction, you are gone. Victory is ours, okay, yes. But yeah, guys, this is the Talent Flame deck. I hope you, whoa. Trainer Challenge score. Hello? What's going on? Pokemon Coins 4. So yeah, guys, this is the deck review. Now, what would I give this deck? I'd probably give it a, to be honest, a 2.4 out of 5. 2.5 out of 5. I don't know where the 2.4 came from. But yeah, that's about it, guys, because I really don't have a lot to show with theme decks. I mean, it's a good deck for getting to you know start things off. Here's the reason why I got the deck in the first place. I wanted to do something with TCG, and I wanted to do at least like a review of a theme deck, because for those of you who actually want to play in real life, you know, here is your chance to go out and buy a theme deck that you might like, and plus this is a new theme deck, it just came out, so maybe you want to try something new, and here it is. You can probably go ahead and buy this theme deck. Also, my friends at Target are actually having a theme deck tournament, and I don't know how old they're going back. I think they're going up to Plasma Freeze for a theme deck, so uh, basically the whole thing of our little tournament that we're hosting, uh, the winner gets like five packs, but none of us can have the same theme deck and 
when I was there at the store, they're telling me everyone who has what. And it turns out that only one left to pick was Talon Flame, since I decided to join their little tournament late. So I said, okay, I'll get the Talon Flame deck, and bam, this is what we got. So I'll let you guys know how that tournament goes, but until then, darkness.